Uh, we're uh, traveling around the world on a sailing boat for the past uh, six years. And uh, we had uh, experience in the Middle East about uh, permaculture. And we really think that uh, people should more come to the earth and have better products to eat. So then we start to uh, read a lot about it and and look a lot about it and get and information. And search also for local products when we are in, in a new place. Yeah, from country to country. And so when we arrived here, we met Aleta and she had uh, this idea to make a project of Santropic farming. So, so we then we learned at her place and uh, further we met Ernst here and uh, we he, he allowed us to use a piece of land and this old uh, reservoir to make a greenhouse. So we build this greenhouse and we clean the, the place on the side. And, uh, and then we, we're going to start to, to plant uh, for the next moon, I guess. Uh. You told me something right now about going to make like a forest. How are we going to do that? All the plants are uh, helping each other to, to, to live. And uh, if you look to a forest, you have different strata of, uh, of height of the trees. So we're going to do the same with the vegetable. Uh, with the lower strata of vegetable would be uh, patilla, for example. And then as so long as you take the high, you have... Uh, let's say, uh, bed roots, and then you have uh, beans. So you'll have each layer like that that will be represented. Same if you have in, you go in a forest and you, you'll see uh, on the lower part some uh, little trees, and then uh, you can, if you put your uh, heads up, you see a second layer, third layer, till the canopy, which is the higher layer. We'll do also the same with the, the, the fruit trees, like uh, the banana, the um, papaya, or the mango. But also the idea is to keep the forest, and forest is made from local trees, so we'll try to put some seeds of local tree, like the, the wayaka or uh, the inju or uh, different local tree that we can find in, in, in this plant, tamarind also, uh, mombin. I do believe that Bonaire had a lot of trees before they, they cut them all, and the trees that we see today are not very high. Maybe because of the wind, but also because the, the big one have been cut and yeah. cutting the big one made that the, the wind can go through when the big one were like a fence for the, for the wind. So if you manage to grow against big trees, then you manage to have um, more uh, var variety of trees and also you, you allow the, the rain to come back, which is, I think, the most important. There are some uh, uh, biologic seeds and uh, from, from, from Europe, because here we found a few one, but we were not very uh, fond of what we found. And the idea is with the, this biologic, biologic seed is to, uh, to grow them and from them take their new seeds that come from the new fruits. So they'll be acclimated to here. And the second harvest will be uh, for us the, the best result because it will be uh, fruits from the island that re regrow on the island. So it's kind of regeneration. And we can share also with other people the seeds we have so then people will be happy maybe to have, if I bring you local seed, a local seed that i grown here and I tell you if you plant it in your garden and you do the right way to plant them, then you'll have a harvest. What system is that? It's called a wicking bed and it's a, a system that allows to um, consume less water. So you have the, the water on the bottom with rocks, a hole here and here a pipe. So you put the, the water in, in the pipe and it's fill up this. And here you have a tissue which is full of soil and capillarity make the water going up and on top the mulch uh, allow the water to do not evaporate. It. So plants has always uh, his own uh, uh, capacity to take the water she wants. Yeah. And, uh, so, and there is no evaporation as when you put it on the top and it has to go to the soil. So everybody can do that on his balcony and even they can uh, plug it to the AC. So you use the water from the AC to this, so you don't have to water it and you don't lose the water from the AC that you pay for because you pay for the electricity and uh, to take out humidity from your house with the AC and it can be kind of uh, to, to kind of recycle uh, instead of, of throwing them in the landfill and put some, some uh, soil on it. Lucy, um, we're standing here um, near uh, le your like a kind of compost. What yes. can you tell us about this? Uh, we put some uh, earth and some donkey manure and some yeast, some panela, some sargassum to to uh, make a new life in this earth, to have new worms and to okay. after to mix this and put on the on the ground with uh, for the trees. You put panela. Why? It helps the okay. east to grow. To, grow. to grow and to bring warmth and uh, life, in fact, in this uh, yeah. Yeah. earth. Um, we're standing here in the preparation of your soil. Can you tell us uh, what's going on? What's your, what are you doing in, in this soil? 
So we digged uh, some holes uh, to make some beds and uh, we had some uh, leaves coming from everywhere that we put inside for the moment, the time being. But then they will go out and here in the middle you'll have uh, uh, tree lines. And all around we do uh, we scrub the, the soil and then we put some uh, piece of wood like this and with water. And then at the end uh, we add on top of this some, some mulch like this so you, you will not see the at all the, the wood. And so here we'll be walking on. The wood will have the composition with time and mulch also and both of it make soil. Yeah. So the place where we walk need to be covered because when you have the less evaporation. less evaporation and when you have a soil like this without no cover, he dies with the sun. It's like you, if you don't put anything then you, you burn. So you want the soil all covered. So you'll have lines for walking, lines for tree and in between the lines for walking. So she walks here, I walk here. And here will be um, uh, vegetable. So when you can, you want to harvest, you have uh, about 50 centimeter each side to uh, to be able to harvest what, what you plant. Yeah. Corn coming here, and then you have one uh, radish here, then one bed roots here, and then again, uh, again. radish, bed roots, radish, bed roots, and then you change. Uh, you come to carrots. Uh, yeah. Each time different uh, layer, but also different uh, time of uh, growing. So like that. Uh, in the time you always have harvest different, so you always have different food coming. And, uh, and the idea is to start by there and here, uh, and then maybe a week or two later we do this line. And, and then when you finish this one, you plant it again, so when you come back you have again... Uh, yeah. again. We want to, to try to plant also uh, with the moon, because yeah. we heard it's good to plant uh, uh, according. When the, according to the moon, when the moon is... Uh, uh, it's growing. Uh, growing. growing. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Growing. So, so we want to try to. How, how do you do that? Well, uh, uh, during the day or during the night? During the day. Yeah. During the day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as soon the moon is growing. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. All, right. All right. When are you plan to begin with the, the, the planting of this soil? Hopefully next moon. Normally about three weeks we start to have the the first uh, harvest salad. of salad radish, ah, okay. and then about. Uh, what, about two, three months you have uh, the beans and uh, the, uh, the corn. For example, the first uh, fruits come from the uh, papaya about uh, nine months and banana about a year. Everything is possible and you get the best quality from your own garden. There's a lot of people seeing us right now on the, at television. Do you have a message for them um, from growing something, growing a fruit, growing vegetables? Everything is possible and you get the best quality from your own garden. It's just about trying. Maybe ask the good question, but uh, if, if you follow the good question and, and, and the good answer, then I think when I have a very, very good soil and it hasn't been spoiled uh, by a pesticide like many islands in the Caribbean. Uh, we heard about the Clore de Con in, uh, in Guadeloupe and Martinique and uh, here there is no. And because of that, I think uh, Bonner should, should come back to his own past where it was uh, the... Um, the reserve of Curaçao and, and, and Aruba for, for vegetable and, 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 uh, and fruits. And I think it's just about people planting. So for to everyone, go plant banana tree, plant mango tree, uh, take every uh, uh, deep, uh, seed, of seed of mango, mango and put it in, uh, in the soil or in, uh, in, uh, how do you call it? in a pot and, uh, and make it uh, grow. Uh, so then, uh, then you'll have a more than the best island of the Caribbean, the, I think the, the, the most uh, exceptional island of the Caribbean. <laughs>